Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we're gonna be checking out the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem action figures from Playmates Toys. I've been pretty excited about this. This is starting to feel like old times again. Let's dive into some brand new TMNT toys based on the upcoming Mutant Mayhem movie. So we got the four heroes here for today's video. We're gonna be checking out Leonardo, the leader, Donatello, the brains, Raphael, the angry one, and Michelangelo, the, the entertainer? Why can't it just be the party dude? <laughs> Either way, these are pretty awesome. And I gotta say, I do really like the new card backs here. Uh, they're very similar to what we've seen from Playmates in the past. They do feel a little bit smaller, um, but I do love like that brick motif in the background, feels very classic TMNT. Also, we do have some artwork off to the side of the blister card of the turtle that is within the box. And uh, you'll also notice that the character's name is scribbled on the brick right above their head. It's a pretty cool look overall. So we got Raph right there, and then we've got Mikey over here. So really, really cool. You know what else I'm really excited about with these? Look at that. They all come packaged with mini turtles. Little solid colored mini turtles. Another great homage to the vintage line. I think that's a great pack-in. You'll also see they got the weapons attached to the sprues, just like we've always seen. Now the back here uh, is pretty much the same on all the boxes. It does have a cross sell here. However, instead of showing us the action figures, it does show us the artwork of the characters from the film. So we got the four turtles, Splinter, Rocksteady, Bebop, Leatherhead, and Superfly. But then down here in the corner, we do have a little bio card here, Clip and Collect, I love it. Uh, this says Mikey's the comedian. Huh, not the entertainer there. Uh, <laughs> We got Donnie is devastatingly smart. I love that. Leo's the leader. And for Raphael, well, Raph, he likes to break things. And on that note, why don't we break these packages open and get a look at our brand new Ninja Turtles action figures. All right, so we got our four turtles outside of the box. Let's go ahead and start with the scale. Uh, you will notice that like we've seen in previous turtles figures in recent years, um, there is a bit of a size difference between them with Raph sort of being the bigger and Mikey being the smaller. Now with that said, each of these figures does stand right at about four and a half inches tall, but Mikey is more around four and a quarter inches. So they are all shy of a full five inches. Um, and they definitely feel like they have a bit of a smaller frame, uh, except for Raph, who is the chunkier of the bunch. And while we've got them all here, we'll go ahead and go over the articulation as well, because that is pretty much the same across all four turtles. And again, very similar to what we've seen in recent years with figures such as the Rise of the TMNT and even the 2012 series. These feel very similar to those. So the head is on a ball joint, allowing the head to roll around. It actually can look up quite a bit, which is really nice. You can see the shoulders can go outwards, forwards, and backwards. You have a single joint at the elbow. It can also swivel there at that elbow, and then you can swivel at the wrist. There is nothing in the torso here, uh, but then the legs just have those hinge joints there, so they can go outwards, they can move forwards and backwards. We do have a swivel at the knee and a single joint at the knee, which is underneath the knee pad there. And then the ankles can go side to side and they do, uh, looks like that. Wow, these are interesting. So these are just like pegs here um, that can pop out. So that's something you definitely wanna be careful with. So it's worth noting, there isn't an actual hinge joint there. There's no rocker. So the ankle doesn't really go up and down. I thought it was doing it at first until I realized I'm just popping that right out of the socket there. Um, so something to be mindful of. Otherwise it looks like it's just gonna swivel side to side. So very basic articulation, but very similar to what we've seen from Playmates line of Ninja Turtles action figures. Uh, and it does work just fine. I will say the joints all feel really good and the figures do feel sturdy and they balance well, which is really cool. 
So we should talk about the look of these turtles. They are, of course, based on the new Mutant Mayhem movie, so they're supposed to be inspired by that animation. Though I will say I like these designs for the turtles quite a bit. They still look like the turtles that we know and love, which is a key component when you're doing an update. It still has to look like what the original uh, brand was, right? It's got to look like the characters, and I think these do a pretty good job of that. Now, I already mentioned that Raphael is the bigger of the bunch it does make sense for him he's also got a nice little scar right there on the front of his shell but i do love some of the little extra embellishments first of all the paint deco on these guys is really good of course the majority of the figures are just green so they're just molded in green plastic though continuing a legacy of these toy lines all different shades of green which is very cool to see and then they're decked out in their signature colors for their bandanas but there's some really nice painted details, some extra stuff we don't get a lot from Playmates on their Turtles figures, such as on their belts here. You'll notice that the initials are back, very similar to the Vintage Turtles line, but we also have like a silver painted buckle here. He's got a little brown pouch on there uh, right next to the loops for his size. So that's really cool. I also love the details on the shell on the back. I like how kind of bulbous the shell is. And Raphael's got the over the head wrap here, uh, which of course we've seen him rock multiple times over the years, even dating back to the comic books there. I also like how animated the faces look. They've got this really heavy black outline on the eyes and the mouth there with all of the teeth gritting. Again, classic Ninja Turtles pose with the mouth, but really does kind of give it that animated look in the face, which I think suits these guys really nicely. And it definitely makes them stand out a bit uh, from some of the figures we've had in the past. So Mikey's design is really interesting. I feel like he's got like the flattest face out of everybody. Like his, his head feels squished and flat. Uh, he does have kind of like this big dopey smile on his face there. I do like how the bandana is shaped as well. And this is sculpted, so it's not just painted on, uh, which is really nice as well there. But yeah, it's got a little bit of a shape to it. You can see the um, parts of the bandana kind of hanging down over his shoulder, which is really nice. Same thing here, the M initial on his belt. He's got a little buckle painted silver. He's a dark darker green and of course we got the holsters on the back of a shell for his signature nunchucks. I actually really like the uh, very confident smirk on Leo's face there. You got a little bit of the teeth gritting, uh, but he definitely has like this confident smirk going on there. His eyes are slightly squinted. Uh, again, really cool paint deco here because he's also got that silver belt buckle, but he also has little silver ninja stars attached to the front of the belt, uh, which is a really cool touch as well. And of course the over the shoulder part of the belt uh, with the holster on the back for his katana blades there. Uh, right on the back of the shell. And lastly, we're going to take a look at Donatello, who actually has the most new stuff going on here. Uh, he's got a very light green skin tone, but some of the new things that we've got going on with Donnie here include the glasses over the bandana, uh, which we've seen a few times in recent iterations of the brand, but he's also wearing a pair of headphones around his neck. And look at this, he's got this fanny pack strapped around his shell going over his belt and you can see a little smartphone sticking out of it or maybe his shell phone maybe that's what the shell phone is um i like that because it really does kind of modernize the tech that donatello is using with like the bluetooth headphones and the cell phone there or the smartphone now one thing that's really cool about this all of those embellishments are completely removable from this figure so if Maybe you're an old school fan and you're not sure you're feeling that. You can actually remove those. So the glasses are attached via a peg on the side of the head there. So you can easily pop that off and you can remove it. And those peg holes are far enough back that you don't even notice them from the front. So now we've just got his bandana without the glasses. Uh, so expect this to be an accessory that gets easily lost <laughs> when we're finding these at toy shows and flea markets like 10 years from now, he's always gonna be missing these glasses. Hold on to those. Um, the headphones, of course, are also a separate accessory. So I've just got them around his neck because that's the way that the artwork appears. You could put them around his head, but as you can see, they don't really fit very good and they don't really stay. So I definitely think they're more meant for the decoration hanging around his neck rather than actually wearing them on his ears. And this little fanny pack uh, is a removable piece as well. This is a separate part that's just plugged in via a peg. So right here on the back, it's really nice. It's so hidden. I didn't even realize this at first, but look at this. You just have this little peg right here on the back of the belt. It's actually like this flat peg there, right there. And we can actually pull that off. Then we can slide the fanny pack off just like that. And now 
you've got a more basic Donatello. And now he does have this little spot right here where that fanny pack was plugged onto. But otherwise, if you prefer to display him like this, it's cool to know you've got the option to do just that. So it's time to talk about the accessories. And as I pointed out in the packaging, uh, each of the figures comes with their own sprue of weapons, which is another one of those things that Playmates has been doing since the vintage Ninja Turtles line. And as you can see, they all stand upright on their own because just like in the vintage toy line, the outer part here is supposed to double as a weapons rack. So you can pop all these accessories off and then, you know, you can lay the weapons across the little pegs if you want to do just that. Um, we also have the included baby turtles, which I absolutely adore. These used to only come with things like the ooze, like the sold separate slime. Um, so getting them packed in with the turtles actually feels really cool. It feels like a great value, especially since the price point is already so good on these figures. Um, so all the baby turtle sculpts do appear similar, um, though it does look like the heads might be even turned different ways. And of course they are molded in different colors of plastic to match the grown up turtles or the teenage turtles, sorry, <laughs> that each of them are uh, accompanied with. Now they do have little peg holes in the bottom, so I'm not sure if maybe that's gonna work for the sewer play set or something thing if there's a reason for that regardless i just love that we've got the baby turtles i think that is so incredibly cool looking at these weapons racks you can also see some really great accessories here now all the weapons racks like the vintage turtles like what we've seen in the past all just molded in solid colors there uh, but there's some fun little accessories on there like slices of pizza and ooze containers we got the mutagen containers um interestingly they've got like these little handles coming off of the back of them i guess maybe so the figures can hold on to them easier um but some of them have broken little bottles of ooze um but one of them i believe it's just donatello's yeah donatello's here has the unbroken canister of ooze if i can get my camera to focus on it for you there you go the unbroken canister of ooze comes with donnie's weapons rack which is pretty cool and of course we've got some additional weapons there like donnie's got a bow staff with a blade at the end of it and we've got Raphael with those hooked swords there so he could use those instead i think my favorite might be on Michelangelo's weapons rack because not only do we have the little chain sickle weapon, which has kind of been a common weapon for him in the past, but we also have a pair of microphone nunchucks, which of course definitely pays homage to one of my favorite vintage Ninja Turtles variants. So cool. So each turtle also comes with their signature weapon, and it is important to note that not only are the signature weapons not attached to the sprue, so you don't have to twist them off, but they also feature paint deco. That's right, my friends. This is something we actually don't get very often on our Ninja Turtles figures from Playmates Toys. The signature weapons are painted. With the exception of Donnie's bow staff, they didn't put any paint deco on the bow staff. It is just molded in a brown plastic, but Leo's katanas have brown handles and silver blades. Raphael's size, same thing. They have brown handles and silver blades. I also love that one of them has sort of like this nail file kind of motif on it. That's really interesting to see. And Mikey's nunchucks have orange handles and silver chains. Now, the chains are molded in plastic and they're kind of shaped uh, in this one specific shape. And really, there's not a lot of flexibility here. Um, and that is important to note for when we are posing the nunchucks in the figure's hand. So he does get a really nice grip on them. But because of that chain, it is a bit hard to get two-handed poses outside of one simple maneuver where the nunchucks are kind of close to each other. They do look pretty good if you want to put them in both hands because you can kind of make it where it looks like uh, the nunchucks are flailing kind of outwards because of the sculpts of those chains. Um, but they definitely have a lot less flexibility in them compared to some of the nunchucks we've had in the past. That being said, they definitely don't feel like they're going to break <laughs> like some of the other ones we've also had in the past. I also want to show you guys the back of the belt here where he stores the weapons. Very similar to the vintage line. He just has these four notches here. And again, the chains are going to make putting those there very specific. Now, first of all, instead of putting them upright, it makes more sense to me to put them downwards because the chains would be hanging down, right? And the best way to do this is to actually skip a slot. 
So just like that. And then you'll bring the other one over and we'll overlap and we'll attach it just like that. And look how good those fit on the figure's back. I assume this is the correct way to do it, but even if that's not the official way, that's the Pixel Dan way. <laughs> and I think that works really, really well if you want to store these on his back. So we'll go and get Donatello in here with his bow staff. It is worth noting perfect two-handed poses are definitely doable there he gets a really good tight grip on it and he does have that holster on his back which is very similar to all the figures in the past where once it gets to that kind of thicker wrapped part of the bow staff it fits in there nice and snug Leonardo's katanas fit nicely in his hands once you turn them forwards uh, the handles are a bit flat as you can see. So they definitely have to be the right direction in his fingers for him to get a good grip. But as long as they are that direction, he does hold on to those very nicely for some cool poses. And he's got those crisscross holsters on his back. There you go. Storm on his back, just like so. And finally, that brings us to Raphael. Very similar to Leo. He's got like these flat handles. So you need to turn them the correct direction in his hands in order for him to get a tight grip. Now, it is worth noting that the blades are a bit too thick to do my favorite Raphael pose where the blade's coming between his fingers. It can't be done on this figure. You can, however, do the upside down uh, pose as well, which also looks really good with this figure. And he's got the little uh, holsters on the front of his belt, much like the vintage action figure. And those actually fit there nice and snug. All right, guys, it's comparison time. And we are going to do a big old mega comparison time because I thought it would be a lot of fun to show these guys standing alongside all of the previous versions of of their action figure counterparts. Now, I am specifically only using the basic figure release from Playmates Toys from each of the previous toy lines. I'm sure arguments could be made for other figures like the movie stars, but I've got a lot of figures here <laughs> and I wanted to show these all side by side just so you can kind of see the evolution of the Ninja Turtles over the years. Pretty cool to see these all lined up if you ask me. Okay, time out for a second. Uh, I know that this is the wrong Rise of Mikey for my photo. It's like one of the ones from the vehicles. Um, my wife and I completely tore the house apart and spent way too much time looking for the basic Rise Mikey. My kids play with it. Uh, you guys are just going to have to deal with that. It's bothering me a lot. You guys probably don't care, but it's driving me crazy that I didn't have the right Rise Mikey for the comparison time photo. Okay, anyway, let's get back to the video. And there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Basic Action Figures from Playmates Toys. All in all, I really like these. I think these are a lot of fun. They are bright and vibrant and colorful. They feel solid. They've got tons of accessories. The price point is kind of unbeatable for toys this day and age. I think if you are a longtime Ninja Turtles fan, you will get a kick out of these. At least these main four turtles. These are really, really cool action figures. I like them quite a bit and I'm excited to see more from this toy line. I do have to give a very special thanks to Playmates Toys who did send these four over so we can get a good look at them here on the channel. But these are hitting store shelves right now. Seems like they should be pretty easy to find. So get out there. Happy hunting, my friends. And until next time.